Hey my friends, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy you are here. And if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Today is part two of the fall craft with me. I have eight new fun and easy fall crafts I think you're gonna love, including the super darling faux mini pumpkin pies. Look at how stinking cute this is, you guys. This is so fun and easy to make and will look so cute anywhere in your kitchen or on a tear tray. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite fall craft is from today. Also, make sure you're joining me over on Instagram where I'm sharing daily DIY and home decor inspo plus live crafting content there as well. So I'm super excited to get crafting here today. So let's get started. For the first DIY, I'm going to be sharing how I make a fall book stack. You can make these book stacks all year round for any occasion or season. I picked up three identical books from Dollar Tree and also some stickers from Dollar Tree to complete this book stack. First, I'm going to remove the cover, backing, and binding of each of the books. Next, I'm going to take the top book and flip it over so I have a plain cover on top. I found these stickers also at Dollar Tree that fit perfectly on the binding, so I'm going to use these to create some fun fall words. You can also shop your home or check your local thrift store for inexpensive books to use. Once I'm done adding the stickers, now I'm going to hot glue the books together so they stay in place. And if you're wondering where the cute little buffalo check pumpkins are from that are on my craft table, I found those at Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm going to wrap my book stack with some ribbon and hot glue to the bottom of the book stack. I unraveled some nautical rope also from Dollar Tree and tied that on top as well. And look how cute this book stack turned out for just a few dollars. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make faux caramel apples. I grabbed a bag of faux apples from Hobby Lobby and removed the stem. Next, I pushed in some wooden dollars that I had on hand from Dollar Tree. I grabbed a bag of Katie K Cobb at the pet store to use as faux nuts. In a bowl, I will be mixing together two ounces of gloss Mod Podge and two ounces of Deco Art in the color Cocoa to create the caramel. I will be adding one coat of paint and letting it dry before adding a second coat. Now I'm going to apply a second coat on top. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle it with the KDK cob. One down and now I'm going to finish the rest. Once all of the apples are done, I'm going to finish them off with adding a little bit of ribbon on top. And aren't these the cutest faux caramel apples? I absolutely love the way these turn out. These are so cute to display in the kitchen for fall. Next up, I'm gonna show you how I made this really cute rusty wagon. I grabbed a brownie pan from Dollar Tree and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color Espresso. Once the spray paint has dried, working in sections, I apply a coat of matte Mod Podge to my brownie pan, sprinkle it generously with cinnamon, and then dab more Mod Podge on top of the cinnamon. I've shared many crafts using this technique, including the Rustic Stars, and I'll include a link for those above where I also walk through how I apply the Mod Podge and cinnamon. 
You can also visit my blog as well, where I share how to make rustic rakes using Dollar Tree rakes. And I did the same process as well. I actually had so much fun making these wagons. I did two other ones where I simply spray painted them and you can check that out over in my story highlights on my Instagram page. Once it's all covered, I'm going to set it aside to dry. For the wheels, I am using plastic mason jar lids from Walmart that I spray painted black. I'm also adding some wooden knobs that I painted from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm attaching the wheels to the brownie pan with E6000 and hot glue. I'm also attaching the spatula that I got at Dollar Tree with hot glue. How cute did this wagon turn out? And again, be sure to check over in my story highlights on my Instagram page where I show a few different options, including some different wheels as well. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cute pumpkin topiary with the most of the supplies you can grab at Dollar Tree. I'm using three of the Dollar Tree foam pumpkins that I painted with folk art chalk paint in the color white and Adirondack. I did have to apply several coats to each. Next, I removed the stem off of two of the pumpkins. Next, I'm applying hot glue to this candle holder, also from Dollar Tree, and then adding my pumpkin, and then I'm going to add some more hot glue on top, and another pumpkin, and then finally, my last pumpkin with the stem. It is super cute, just like this, but I'm gonna go in and distress it a little bit. I'm using folk art paint in the color Barnwood, and then I'm also going to be adding folk art antique wax. Now I'm adding some wee picks from Hobby Lobby to the bottom of the topiary. And finally adding a gingham bow. And here it is all done. I love the way this topiary turned out. I think this would be really pretty having two acred on each side of an entry table. Next up, I have a super cute and easy idea using these pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I'm using four of these Dollar Tree pumpkins and I use a hair dryer over the sticker and then the stickers come off easily. I'm also going to remove the little raffia bows. Next, I'm going to dry brush folk art chalk paint in the color white and Adirondack onto the back of each pumpkin. Next, I'm going to use these stickers that I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby to spell out the word fall. You could even use Dollar Tree poster stickers for this project as well. Next, I made little twine bows and I'm hot gluing those to each of the pumpkins. And look how cute this turned out. Next up, I'm going to be making a chunky yarn wreath. I absolutely love this chunky yarn from Hobby Lobby. It is by Yarn Bee and I use the color ivory. I simply hot glue the beginning of the yarn to the wire wreath form from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to wrap it all the way around. I do secure it in spots with hot glue as well. I love chunky yarn projects for fall and winter. It just is so cozy. Once I get to the end, I secure to the back with hot glue. Okay. 
Now I'm going to tear a piece of homespun fabric from Hobby Lobby to make a shabby bow. I'm going to hot glue the bow to the bottom of the wreath along with some leaves from Hobby Lobby. I also added a piece of homespun fabric to the top of the wreath to hang this and I love the way it turned out. Next I'm going to make some really cute pumpkins out of paper bags. I'm using giant lunch bags from Walmart and I simply take my bags and I crinkle them up. Next I'm going to fill my bag about a third full with polyfill or just use some filling from an old pillow. Once I have the bag about a third fill of the polyfill, I'm going to secure it with a rubber band and then twist the top of the bag to make a stem. Next, I'm going to spray paint the bottom of the pumpkins. You could use whatever color you wanted. I'm using Rust-Oleum in the color Ivory Bisque. Once they are dry, I am using some raffia from Dollar Tree to wrap around the stems. I couldn't resist making some cute little tags for a few of these pumpkins, so I tore a piece of muslin fabric and using my clickable stamps. I will include a link for these stamps in my description below, and I'm going to attach these to a few of the pumpkins with some safety pins. These pumpkins make the cutest bowl filler and especially with a few of the tags on them, I absolutely love the way these pumpkins turned out. Next up, I am going to be making faux mini pumpkin pies. I absolutely love these mini pumpkin pies. They look super cute for a tear tray. I am using pie dishes that I already had on hand and first I'm cutting a piece of cardboard to fit on the top. Next, I cut a piece of floral foam to fit the bottom of my pie dish and hot gluing that in place and then applying some hot glue on top of that floral foam and adding my cut piece of cardboard. I am painting my cardboard with folk art paint in the color cinnamon from Hobby Lobby. If you prefer, you could even paint this before you hot glue this onto the pie dish. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to use Fast and Final Spackling to pipe on top to use as whipped cream. I'm using the 1M piping tip from Hobby Lobby. How cute is this pie? You're gonna set it aside to dry. I also added a little sprinkle of cinnamon as well. And look how cute this is on a tear tray. And that is it for today's fall craft with me. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite craft is from today. And be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page at Mother Time, where I am sharing daily DIY and home decor inspo, as well as live crafting. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.